And then they have this thing in their hand, and they be going like this. And boy, it just sounds so like, <laughs> I can see all of the angels. <laughs> I could never do any of that. So every time I pick up a guitar, I always would do this. Yep. <laughs> I don't believe it. Yep. <laughs> if we hit the string, you listening? I know he is. He's paying attention. <laughs> okay. But now if I do this, do you hear the difference? Yeah. yeah. You said it might have slowed. You, know, you kidding me? Did you hear it? Yeah. That make me feel better. <laughs> make me feel better. So there is one more stack, one more type of blues sound. Usually when rock and roll started, that's long after we were here. <laughs> um, many other styles, but for example, we're gonna do something like a little bit of. Uh, uh, let me see. I do a little bit of it. Let you understand. I didn't say go. <laughs> Give me an idea. <laughs> I'd be terrible to work for. <laughs> but anyway, there have been many types of rhythm and music patterns that I've heard in my lifetime. And I'm 83, so that means that you've had a lot more that you've heard and a lot more you're gonna hear than I have. But we'll do this one. We used to call this sort of a, what you what do we call it? Bossa Nova. <laughs> and then we, we, well, uh, we, let me put it this way. When you're playing music, I've heard many musicians say, and I stole this, we ain't stole nothing. Use the word you borrowed. You didn't steal it, you just took a little bit for yourself. <laughs> Nobody get me. <laughs> Nobody understand me. You understand me? Yeah. so good. Yeah, <laughs> that thing there. I got one behind me. Mine look terrible like I do, but it sounds good to me. <laughs> or you might have a not so good guitar, but very good amplifier. And you're playing with somebody else. Now, I'm going to ask you to maybe put your fingers in here because I'm going to turn it up. Yeah, great. I'm going to show you what a lot of the people do today, and it just makes me go, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you Alexis. <laughs> now, we're going to play um, maybe we'll play that what we did again. And by 
doing this. I'm going to show you young players what it sounds like when you are not playing and somebody else is playing so loud that they disturb you. I don't know, and I'm not putting your generation down, but I kind of like the music to be like the wave on the ocean. You that have seen the ocean or you that have seen water, a body of water, when the wind is not blowing, you can barely see the waves. They go like this, like that, like this. But when it's storming, they go like this, like that. Do anybody understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the way it is with music. We call it dynamics. We got done the name so far, too. I won't go into that. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, we're going to start off playing like we're friends. But after a while, I'm going to get old, down and dirty. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and this makes, now last night we had a jam session for you that wasn't there. We had a good jam session. Nobody was trying to outplay the other as far as sound. That's one of the good things about electric instrument. You can turn it up and all the poor guys that are playing something like that, they're in trouble. Because you're not going to hardly even hear it. But they got cute with it. Look what he got over there. He can get as loud as I do. But it won't sound so good. So, here we go. Same thing. like you're sitting out there. But in a minute, I'm going to act up like a bad little kid. Boy. We got some bad 83 little kids, too. In case you don't get it. Now watch this. Now, who would want to be playing with somebody did that? No, you wouldn't. So I'm saying that because of father. Somebody got a good car and you riding in a shoe buggy like mine. The passion, the passion so fast, your, your car shakes when that go by. That's not nice. And it's worse when you have to lift it up. Now, we're going to try something else. Boogie. Well, I heard boogie when I was a boy. One more, one, one more, one more. That is the change, and so people dancing might want to change the step to show off a little bit and show what they can do. And in order to do that, we'll swing it. Let's swing it, Tony.
Well, that's true. <laughs> All right, we do everything for the ladies. Right. Anyway, my breakfast. <laughs> And I really hope, with my Mississippi accent, and I don't speak it very well, <laughs> I really hope that you've been able to get something out of what I'm trying to give you. It may sound a little bit like nonsense, but try to play it. You find out that, and quite often I, people come to me and say, oh yeah, I'm really blue, blues. I'll tell you a little story. A certain band leader that passed away not too long, well, last year, a year but last year. Huh? Yeah. No, he passed away last year. Got a knife. So I can cut him. He, I knew he was going to say that because I'm always talking about cutting him on stage. But a certain musician, great musician, one of those what we call sight readers, and I'll explain again, sight readers, like you pick up a magazine, or anything that you want to read, and you go ahead and read it. Well, music is supposed to be done equal as well. So you see a lot of guys with head, thick heads like mine, don't take enough time to go ahead and do it. But you can, you can. You can do anything you want to do. Today, I'm a firm believer that you can do anything that you want to do. If you set out to do it, you can do it. And I say to all of you parents that have your children, encourage them. Now, when they are young, as some of these are here today, they might want to play drums tomorrow, and the day after that, they want to get top. And then next week, they want to be a singer or a dancer. So you encourage them on whatever they want to do because they'll make up their minds what they want sooner or later. But it's left to you to help them. I'm alone. I was raised by myself until I was about 14. My mom died when I was nine. So I had to rely on my thinking of what I could or couldn't do. And this is what happens. If he plays or she plays well, or if she dances well, or whomever, give him a little bit of, this is a bad word, mm. <laughs> you give him a little bit of mm. <laughs> that's encouragement. <laughs> that show was nice. Even if your cat could do it better, but you tell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. But if your cat could do it better, you, you still tell that child that that child is good and that child believe you. And it's a good thing. My dad never told me he loved me. Some people say that's why I play the blues, but it's not. <laughs> when that girl said she didn't like me, and I'd been claiming her for two years, we've been in the <laughs> handsome, good looking and all that. The girls just come up, yes, yes, yes. And they never do that for some of us. And I was front line. But when the lady says, if you like ladies, now get me wrong, this is new world, new day. <laughs> and we are not going into any of that. But I'll just say it this way, if you like girls like most men like girls, yes. and she says no, or oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that, the answer should be as far as you, no, that ain't right. <laughs> anyway, if she says no to anything, you want a little tissue. No, can't do that. And you say, well, why not? I saw you kiss him. <laughs> you know, and then she look at say, you ain't, you're not him. <laughs> and that's when you get blues. <laughs> but that's not the only reason, folks. 
The real reason that I like to play is because I like to play. Another uh, thank you. Before you get really bored, I got just a little bit to add to that. We we play once we get really started to play, whether, whatever instrument it might be, and you want to play it, not you play it because your mother wanted to do it or dad wanted you to do this. It's like me, I never knew anything about any sports until I decided once to want to box a little bit. This was doing the Joe Lewis and Max Mellon era. Era. I think I got it right. However, whoever won in the boxing was first was Max Mellon, because Max Mellon beat the hell for Lewis, uh, Joe Lewis the first time, beat the hell off him. Get the second. Off him. You, you okay? <laughs> These things are shock you, you know. That's another thing. If water gets on this here, water gets on that, it won't blow up damp and all that, but it will shock you crazy. You grab that and grab this at the same time. <laughs> so that, that, that wasn't planned, folks. Anyway, that's a bad thing about my age. I have, I'll use selective amnesia. <laughs> but that's a lie because I don't select everything I forget. <laughs> now I want to do something else for you. Using that trill on my hand, we was talking about it a little earlier. And the trill to me makes me think, my, my sound man, I see it. <laughs> I, are you tired now? I cut it off. I'm not like you, yeah. You you didn't notice you? I did. Uh, I'm, I'm teasing about cutting it off, but I'm not teasing about you young and I saw. You wouldn't believe that I've got I had the cataracts cut off my eyes, so I can see good now. <laughs> now I'm close. We that wear glasses know what I'm talking about. But um, I can see very well. Now, the trio, we're back to that. A lot of people are concerned about it, and it's like some people are voices. I could name you a few voices. I was watching, watching the Michael Jackson funeral the other day, I didn't call it that, they called it tribute, but it was memorial. And I heard Even. people singing, and I was just sitting there crying to hear voices so beautiful, to hear these people singing. And everybody was serious about it. And, what, and one of the things that really good, I'd be happy I don't have to go to my grave. Y'all got it. <laughs> but what hurts me so bad is to see people that's already hurt and somebody go, ah! And I'm saying, Lord have mercy. Why don't this person shut up? I've been sitting up there trying to be cool, you know. And then one way or <laughs> I don't know if you ever been to graves like that, but I have. And it really hurts me. I'm already hurt because we're losing the person. And then somebody else is gonna, well, we'll let that long get back to the music. <laughs>